How to get new agents active is a conversation I tend to get into with sales leaders, sales managers and company executives all over the world. And it always reminds me of a situation that I faced in India, where uh, we at the time there was three weeks induction training. And I remember seeing Garav, who'd come out of induction training the day before. And I said to him, hi, Garav, how's things going? And he went, oh, Mr. Nick. And he looked at me all sorrowfully and said, I need more training. And I said, well, what do you need training on? And he just looked at me blank. So I said to him, do you need more product knowledge? And he said, oh, yes, Mr. Nick. I said, do you need more sales skills and sales process? Oh, yes, Mr. Nick. I said, do you need more company process and procedure training and understanding the rule? Oh, yes, Mr. Nick. And I thought, ah, is this skill, is it knowledge or is it actually the will to go out and do the job? So I said to him, I said, look, Gareth, in order to understand how we're going to help you, if I remember rightly, you live in an apartment block? And he said, yes, that's right. I said, how many neighbours have you got? He said, oh, there's 14 apartments. I said, right, this weekend, can you go and talk to them and tell them that you've got a new job and that you'd like them to ask you difficult questions and as many difficult questions that you can't answer, that's what we'll know to give you more training on. Will you do that? He went, oh, yes, Mr. Nick. So the next week I saw him and uh, I saw him across the office and his head disappeared. So I walked across the office and there he was hiding under the desk. And I went, Gareth, is that you? And he went, oh, yes, Mr. Nick. And I said, Gareth, how did it go? He said, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Nick. I've been so busy. I haven't been to see them. I said, well, Gareth, I'm trying to organise some training for you. How will I know what to train you on if you don't go and talk to them? Please talk to eight of them this weekend. OK, Mr. Nick. So anyway, the following week came and I walked in the office and there was Gareth standing by the printer looking very happy, happy. I said, Gareth, you're smiling. What's happened? He said, oh, Mr. Nick, I don't need any more training. I said, why not? He said, I'm printing four illustrations. And that was it. What had happened was I'd managed to take the sales pressure off him, get him focused on doing activity and gave him a different reason to do the activity. I recognised the activity and by him actually doing it, he built his confidence. And guess what? The sales followed. If you like this story, please subscribe and you'll get more tips and know how as we release it. Cheers.